doing all right? Yes, sir. Yeah, Cadillac. What's up? Y'all good? Yeah. They ain't bothering you? No, they're not bothering me. Smith again, bro. What do you do? I say, damn, my nigga, what you mean? I could've sworn we built a team. Ain't nobody but Bobo and Sheen. Fuck that, nobody else in between. You ain't believe me when I had a dream. You wouldn't believe the shit that I seen. I've been here before. I used to have wings. I know I can fly, I just gotta believe. I'm working the sink till I succeed. I'm tasting the cheese until I cheese. Please remember me when I'm deceased. Locked up, they waiting on my release. Fuck niggas, they don't want me to increase. I swear you little niggas doing the least. I went to pop like that bitch on the lease. No pressure, that bitch put my name on the lease. The Bobo, hey. Hey, let's get it. <laughs> I used to want to be an architect. I just wanna be an architect, man. I just wanna be it. Alright, J West TV. Here with Jacksonville Artist Sheen, boy, aka Lil Bobo. What's up with you, man? Just chilling, man. Just chilling, man. It's a beautiful Friday. It's Friday, ain't it? Yeah. It's a beautiful Friday. <laughs> I got my brothers with me and shit, man. We just hanging out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I appreciate you coming out here, man. Shout out to what they with TV, man. Yeah, man. Hey, start off by letting the people know, man, who you is and where you from. Yeah, man, little bubble. Yeah, but formerly known as Scene Boy, you feel me? What caused the name change? Um, it was kind of like. I don't want to speak too much about it, but it's kind of like bubble is just kind of accumulated, just manifesting, just a little bit rough. Just, just, just being out, right? Okay, bump. This is how I got the name right here because being out and making money and hustling and shit like that, you feel me? I ain't want people to call me Scene Boy because I ain't have nothing to do with what I had going on. Scene Boy was the music shit. Right. And what I was doing, I ain't want to intertwine that shit, you feel me? So I kind of made up some shit real, real quick. Bro. How long you been rapping? Honestly, I've been rapping since like fifth grade, bro. What are some schools you went to in Jacksonville, man? Uh, I went to, um, man, I went to, I went to Rutgers, H. Pearson. Like, back when I was, we stayed in Sherwood, so I went to Rutgers. Okay. I went to, um, I went to Highlands Elementary. I went to Biscayne Elementary. Biscayne? Yeah, I went to Biscayne okay. Elementary. Like, second to fifth grade. And I went to Highlands Middle for sixth grade. Then, um, and that's when I moved to the West. Actually, I moved to the South. Then I moved to the West. Right. Then I started going to Stillwell Middle School. That shit, like Marietta type shit. Okay, I went to JD. You went to JD? Okay. Yeah. So you, it's a West Side School. Yeah, yeah, yeah. West Side School. Now, I, I seen you before, before I even knew about you doing music, I seen you doing dread reviews on YouTube. Do you still do those? Yeah, I've been doing that shit, yeah. Okay. Shit. How often do you post videos? I, I need to be. Tell them where to find you at on YouTube. Shit, you can go to YouTube. You can type in Lil, Lil Bobo, or you can type in Scene Boy Got Em. You're going to see everything I do on that. You're going to see Dread updates. Yeah. Like, the music videos and shit like that. That's the unique style of hair you got right now. How long you been growing them? For my shit for like a year, eight months, and like two weeks type shit. One year, eight months, two weeks. All right, I was listening to your mixtape. Got em the mixtape. Yeah. Now, do you feel like you slept on as an artist? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. What makes you feel that way, man? What? what makes you feel that way? Cause I kind of just came out of nowhere snapping, and growing up like in school and shit, I was so quiet. Right. So niggas ain't know how to rap. I was too. So, and, so it's like, nigga, damn, you rapping? Well, I really sliding though. So like, I'm stepping on because I don't know. I've been. I don't know. I've just been. I've just been like. I just been an underdog type shit. Right. Is there an artist who inspired you to, uh, to rap, or do you just do it by yourself? A lot of artists inspired me, like Gucci Man, like Chief Keith. Right. Uh, young artists and shit. Anybody in Jacksonville? Uh, yeah, a lot of shit. I listen to a lot of local music. You fuck with All local music, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I know what it's like to be. So I'm a local artist, too. I'm an underground artist, too, so I listen to a lot of underground music. Name two of your songs that are significant to you and why are they significant to you? I got uh, the Bobo Pyrex. Right. And I got, when I was seeing Boy Gotham, I got the ATM. I saw that ATM, video. ATM, I seen that. I was just watching that video before we uh, came up here. I saw that video right over here, right out here. Okay. Uh, the same store, the nigga break dancing and shit right out here. Where we at right now?
come out of here. <laughs> Talk, come on up. Stay with us. You on here? Stay with us. Now we shit. sit at West Side. <laughs> West Side. Paradise Village, White House. You know, we have to play. 32, 20. Stay on the floor. Ask about being tough around the West Side. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I got to go to the trophy around here. Uh, All right, man. On your song, 380, you said I was on the fifth floor fighting on my first day. What initiated the altercation, man? Altercation started because um, I had a roommate, man. Nigga was acting like a bitch, man. He was just trying to run. He was just trying to run shit. And I just ain't that type of nigga, bro. You can talk to me like a man, you feel me, before you start a little boy, nigga. You ain't got to start a little boy, nigga. I just wasn't on that shit. Exactly. So that's what started that shit. You know, on the fifth floor, that's like the worst floor. So, like, ain't nobody having that shit. We ain't having that shit. How many times have you been incarcerated? And have you learned anything from it? I've been incarcerated uh, three times, and I've learned each time from it. I've learned each time. What have you learned? Uh, I hate being around people who are not like me. <laughs> and I, like, when I'm locked up, you cannot control who you around. Right. You can to a certain extent. You can go to your room and lay down and shit, but when you just act like, you feel me, like, you can't, you can't really control who you're around. You got this nigga who tripping because he's going to get 20 years, or he did some gay shit in his past before when he tripping. You ready to fight anybody, but you really not. You know what I'm saying? So you can't really you get you get tired of being around people like that. Tired of being around the type of energy and shit. So, so what did you do to occupy your time as a person? Did you did you read? Did you write? Did you? Yeah. Read, what did you do? Read, write, do push ups. Try to like uh, shit. I guess is if I'm not by myself, I try to just link up with somebody that's like me. And, and space, but a whole lot of space, a whole lot of space, but sun up, sun down. Type. What is your what is your biggest goal of 2019? Damn, I had you know what's crazy. My biggest goal was to get out of probation. It still is. I still got pushed back though. But that's still my biggest goal, so I can travel. That's definitely something to do, man. Cause with probation, that a that a you can get locked up for the smallest thing, and it's gonna fall back on you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Probation violation just for being arrested. Yeah, just have some, some, some small shit going on. You feel me? Ain't even doing no big time shit. Get yoked up for a sick girl. That's a violation type of shit. What do you feel is holding you back from your full potential musically? As in as in money or exposure? Promotion. 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 Shit, just motion. Cause money ain't too much of a problem like that. But yeah. see, I got a lot of kids too. I ain't gonna say a lot of kids, but I got three kids though, so that shit gonna hold me back. Life. Do you have skills outside of rapping? Uh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> Let them know. Pirates guy. I got skills to pay the bill. <laughs> <laughs> I skills, outside shit. of rapping shit, bro. I'm, I'm real creative with shit. I'm like innovative with shit. Like my ideas and my dreams and shit, bro. That's like, that's like creativity at its finest, you feel me? Like, I'm good at basketball a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I used to know how to draw, but I kind of took that art and turned hey, it to a music bro. art. Um, yeah, man. Hey. Bull, man, get this nigga on camera, man. Get this nigga on camera. Bull shit, dog. Ah, you about to go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> yo, but yeah, um, creative as fuck, dog. Me, me and this man actually drew a whole picture together. <laughs> <laughs> we know how to go for it, but we just kind of bring that shit How would you explain your personality, man? Man, shit, goddamn. How going? Like, live? I'm not too turnt, but I'm more chill than turnt. But like, if you know me, I'm funny as fuck, bro. But I just, I ain't no comedian or nothing like that. Bro. I got a, I got a real, like, live personality. Man. But for the most part, bro, you, 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 you never know that side. Bro. You never know that side. Bro. Are there any up, upcoming albums or mixtapes or anything you got coming? So, Taylor, you wanna get on camera? Huh? You get on camera? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Say so shout out J West TV. Shout out J West TV. Straight up. Straight up. Yes, sir. I got a mixtape I'm fully working on. It's called Candy Lane. Candy Lane? Yeah, Candy okay. Lane. Because I'm from Lane Avenue right here. And this okay. shit's sweet for me. This shit, this shit sweet. This shit like candy for me. So okay, that's a nice concept right there. Yeah. How do you feel about doing features with other artists? Is that something you into? Or would you rather do solo? 
We all trying to do the same thing. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why niggas be on that shit. Y'all niggas be off that shit for real. I don't, I, don't, I don't give a fuck anyway, though. Cause my shit gonna go. <laughs> I, I, I do a song with a nigga who not even snapping like that, cause it don't even matter. Like, you trying to go for make it go. I'm gonna make it go. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what's up, though, man. That's real right there. If you were to get that first big check, say 500,000, what, what's the first thing you would do with that? 500,000. <laughs> I'd open up a few businesses somewhere. Definitely. So I make sure I change a few people lives real, real, real quick. We used to get them out of the position to be fucked up. Like, right now we kind of all stuck a little piece in our own way. Right. But money like that, I can get a few people out, you know what I'm saying, out of their position you know, and on to a better future type shit. Before we go, man, is there anything I didn't ask that you would like people to know about you? Or any shout outs to anybody, anybody do music or, you know what I'm saying, any entrepreneurs you want to give a shout out to? All, all the local artists and shit. Yes, sir. Ones who done made it somewhere. Ones who underground just like me. Shout out all the underground artists and shit, bro. Shit, we all gonna, we all gonna make something happen. Studio, yeah, that's it. Studio man and shit, the video man like yourself, J West TV. Yes, sir. Shit, everybody doing something. Shit, we ain't just sitting on our ass. Everybody, We're finna make a difference, man. J West TV here with Sheen Boy, aka Lil Bobo, man. We out. Yeah, Straight up. <laughs> I'm a pot scraper. Young nigga, paper chaser. First placer. Small time calculator. Add it up. Uh, cook it like a needle beggar. Uh, wrist breaker. Uh, nigga, I'm a wrist taker. Get that scrilla, ayy. Niggas talking to the pillar, ayy. I got that glass, ayy. She hit that glass, I got that killer. Knock at the door, I stay with them zombies and sit